I'm going to be making sourdough granola. This granola takes two days to make. So on day one, you're going to mix together three cups of oats, one cup of starter, a half a cup each of a neutral oil and honey. We're going to be long fermenting our oats overnight. So you're going to take your three cups of oats and your one cup of starter, a half a cup of oil and a half a cup of honey and let it sit out on your counter. You're gonna let this sit out overnight up to 24 hours so that your oats can begin to ferment. I'm not sure if this is true, but I have read that oats and other grains that are soaked or sitting out and fermenting for long periods of time are healthier and easier to digest. So that's why I chose this recipe. So on day two, you are going to grab your bowl, your ingredients, and you're gonna preheat that oven to 225. All right, day two's ingredients are as follows. Two teaspoons of vanilla, a tablespoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of salt, quarter cup of honey, and a quarter cup of oil. To your fermented bowl of oats, you're gonna go ahead and sprinkle your cinnamon. Keep in mind that granola is completely customizable, so you can add more or less of ingredients. Sprinkle on that salt. This will not taste right without any salt, so please add at least some. Pour on your two teaspoons of vanilla. Remember that the honey from yesterday has been eaten up a little bit by the fermentation, so it's not going to be as sweet as you might think. So you are going to add at least another quarter cup of honey. By making the granola, you'll be saving money and doing something healthy for your family. And the last main ingredient that you are going to add is an extra quarter cup of neutral oil. I used avocado oil. Now you're going to thoroughly mix all of your ingredients. And this is the time when you would want to add nuts or seeds that you've maybe soaked overnight that you would like to add to your granola. You can be creative and add exactly what you want. I added some flaked coconut. I added sunflower seeds. Sometimes I add pepitas or pumpkin seeds. I always add a little bit of chia seeds to the mix. You do what tastes good to you. The one thing you do not want to add at this point in time is any dried fruits, whether that be raisins or apricots, some dried cherries. I always use cranberries. You do not add those until after everything has baked. Your total amount of add-ins, whether that's seeds or nuts or fruit, should equal no more than two and a half cups. Granola is just one of those things that I've always purchased on and off throughout the years. Never thought of making it before, but then I started eating plain yogurt, which was really hard for me to get used to. And so the granola was something that gave it a little bit better flavor so that I could start enjoying my plain yogurt. So I wasn't eating the processed yogurt anymore. And this is a healthier way of doing it, having fermented and less sweet granola. There are some other delicious granolas that I like to make. However, this one is much healthier and it is super easy to make, so I'm sure I'll be making this more often. The great thing about making homemade granola is you can use the things that you have around your house that you enjoy to flavor it up. Even eating it without any mix-ins would be wonderful. So now it is time to start spreading out your granola onto two lined baking sheets. I'm using a Silpat. You could just use parchment paper, whatever you have on hand. I think it might be a little too sticky, so you might want to put a, a non-stick spray down on your pan if you don't have parchment paper or a Silpat to put down. Something to keep in mind, you want to spread this out as flat and as thin as possible. That's why I have it mixed over two pans. And when you put it in the oven, it is going to bake very low and slow for almost three hours. Something to keep in mind when you take the granola out of the oven to check for it being done, it will be appear soft because it's hot. So break off a small piece, let it come to room temperature, which will only take a minute or two, and then you'll be able to tell how crisp it is. The good news is if you don't cook it the whole way through, you can turn the oven back on, put it back on the tray and put it back in the oven for a few minutes. Just keep an eye on it because at the end, and it can burn and I've lost an entire tray of granola by burning it before. Once your granola has cooled and you're going to break it up, you're going to add any of that fruit and go ahead and put it in some airtight containers, something that has a lid. You can see that I have my cranberries in there. I just let this sit out on the counter and I can grab it as an easy snack anytime I want. I hope you'll give this a try. Thank you for joining me here at White Shadow Fair.